Hey guys, it's me. I actually just did a review of uh, some Wonder Woman stuff. There's a sword right there. Uh, I thought while I was oot and a boot, because that's what we say in Canada, I thought we would just do a, a quick tour of my room. Because everybody says, why don't you do tour rooms? Room tours. We're going to do that now. So, I don't really have a lot of stuff on display, despite what people might think. They might say, hey, you must have a whole ton of stuff on display. I really don't. Uh, most of my stuff is in totes. So, we're going to go look at the, some of the stuff that I've got on display. I hope you enjoy. I hope you... Why are you holding the camera so awkwardly? I don't know. I just like... I like artistic angles. That's what I like to do. But uh, we're just going to do a tour of the room. Uh, it's very, very small. Most of the upstairs is adult space. It's what normal adults, if you went to somebody's house, that's what an adult would look like or their room would, their rooms would look like. So I have a, I have a kitchen, I have a living room, um, I have bedrooms, I have bathrooms. They, they don't look anything like something collectors would. It's, it's not comic, it's not comic wallpaper anywhere or uh, I don't have like a giant, Batman bathtub, although that would be a pretty cool idea. Most of my stuff is relegated to the basement, which I call living room because ideally this is where I would this is where I would live. So, yeah. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna do a quick room tour. This is where all my collectibles are. So if you say, "Hey, guy, we never see you on camera. How come? Um, how come you don't do like a tour of your room, your tour of your collectibles?" Well, here's my collectibles right now. We're not doing it just yet, but we're going to cut away through the magic of editing, and I'm going to show you all the stuff I have on display. This is my entire collection. Everything else is in totes. That's where they live. They, wear, they live in totes. So I hope you guys enjoy. I haven't shaved in a while, so I like to call that organized neglect. But needless to say, we're getting off topic. Let's have a look at the tour of the room. Are you ready? Here we go. So starting first at the tour of the room. Yes, you've already seen the wall of movies. There's uh, four, I want to say four Detolfs. I got uh, some collectibles out there. I need to get some more better lighting down here as well. But you've already seen the tour of the movies. There's nothing really that's been added to it since. There's one wall right there. And of course there's the other there's the other bookshelf right there. This is basically all my movies or all my TV shows and stuff like that. Uh, over here, I've got my Out of Time and California Night, Back to the Future and Knight Rider, respectively, license plates. I do like those. There's my posters. If you hear craft paper, it's just because I haven't cleaned up my craft paper yet from opening up the media box. There's my Labyrinth and Goonies posters. And over here, is my Jake the Snake right there? Jake the Snake and Alan Oppenheimer Skeletor print. Of course, when we I went to the where was it? It was like the it was a convention. I can't remember what it was actually called. I think it was an action figure convention. Alan was there. Jake was there. A very awkwardly uh, confrontation. Not a confrontation, but when I saw Jake. Uh, I had already paid the guy there. I got bad lighting down here. I had already paid the gentleman next to Jake for the autograph. And then when I got to Jake, Jake didn't know that I had paid. So he kept saying, did this guy pay? Did this guy pay? I paid. I paid. Alan, on the other hand, was a really fun guy. I'm sure I've told you guys stories of this before. I got him to sign my autograph. I actually got him to sign my uh, never ending story as well, which I got to put in a shadow box. But uh, I said to him, can you do the Skeletor impression? I know you guys have already heard the story. I'll say it anyways. And uh, he held up the print and he looked at me and he said, you paid money for this? Of course, in a Skeletor, better Skeletor impression than what I've just done. That was that was a bad impression. But there's, there's my movie posters and uh, there's my other there's my other bookshelf. One thing I have to work on in this room is better lighting. I've got like zero, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I've got a beam here and I've got a beam here and I've got like one light here. So I'm gonna have to put like something like a lamp or something here so you guys could actually see. 
or I could see everything a little bit better. But in pitch blackness, pitch dark, there's my di uh, diamond select. I think, I want to say that's Star Trek VI, Undiscovered Country, Bird of Prey. Uh, I've got the, you can't even see it. I can't see it, so I can't imagine you would see it. There's my Enterprise E, Enterprise A, Enterprise, NCC-1701. That's the high-def version. That's the refitted, or actually, that's the Enterprise A, uh, and then Enterprise E. Here's all my games. Uh, somebody says, you know, where, what, what, is, what does all your games look like? That, those are my games. Uh, I've got two back, so two, 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 uh, two rows, and then I've got my Nintendo. I've got a couple of copies of different games. Uh, some of my Amiibos, Samus, Mega Man, Mario. Again, I apologize for the lighting. Super Nintendo, N64, some Famicom, uh, some Game Boy at the back there. I got Kirby down there with some odds and ends. And I got my PlayStation games down here with Sackboy. You could tell I really wasn't prepared to shoot this, so it's all willy-nilly. Willy-nilly! Down below, some board games. There's my board games. Now, here's a rather embarrassing part to this collection, is that, again, I have those lights, but, I mean, when it gets to the shelving, I've got literally no light to work from, so I'm actually making use of my phone light until I can get myself some lamps going over here. It's actually not that dark in person, but uh, certainly picking it up on camera, it becomes a little darker. So here I have the, this is the Robocop 2 cane from Chronicle Collectibles. Just love that piece. And then we have one of my Detolfs here. Again, I'm using my phone light for the time being. It's so embarrassing. Uh, over here I have the Eric Draven Crow. These are basically my favorite ones I've got on display. Some of the other ones I've still got boxed away. There's the Jason Voorhees, the Pinhead from 3-0. In the back there, there's the Predators, uh, classic Predator from Hot Toys. There's Ash. And down below here, oh, just going to bend down here for a second. We've got the Marty McFly teaming up with Darth Vader. What? Yeah, I, that's how I got it set up right now. The art figures, uh, Judge Dredd, and there is Ray from Force Awakens. There's Kylo Ren way at the back, and down below there's my Star Trek collection. Classic Trek teaming up with Picard from Next Generation, and we've got a couple of Evolution, Underworld Evolution figures, or Underworld figures, and down below Rick Grimes teaming up with the Terminators. There's the E.T., you know, the, the Terminators from Terminator 2, and the original Terminator teaming up with Rick Grimes. Zombies would not stand a chance. So there is Detolf number 1. Let's look at Detolf number 2. This section here has a lot more light than the other area, but it's still pretty dark, so I'm going to make use of my phone once again. There is the Chronicle Collectibles Ed 209. Down below we have the new, there's the Terminator, or Terminator, there's the Joker from Killing Joke from the new DC Collectibles. One of my favorite pieces, there's the Catwoman. Uh, I think that was from Tweeterhead. I think that was the Yamato Wonder Woman. And down below here we've got some Amazing Spider-Man figures from Hot Toys. There's the original Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2. There's the Mark 46 from Civil War. Civil War cap in the back there. There is, I want to, I think that's Age of Ultron Thor. And we've got the Tony Stark. I can't remember which one that was. That's from like the works, work table or workstation. I, I don't remember. Here I have my replica of Lucille. Down below here, I've got a Bayonetta. I actually wanted to get the regular Bayonetta that was completely all in black attire. Unfortunately, that was the only one I could get. I, I kind of prefer the other one. Some people aren't a fan of that particular statue. There is the gem edition of the... Let me just crouch down here. There's the diamond edition of the Diamond Select Mad Love Harley. Here is one of my favorite figures, or favorite characters. Here's Pyramid Head. 
I got shadow coming from my light here. There's Pyramid Head down below. The Cryptozoic Entertainment. There is the Batmobile. I got my tricorder. And I've got the yeah, the Terminator Genesis T800. I have my lunging Kratos currently on the floor. I want to get a proper shelf for that. There's my Ghostbusters poster. And again, I apologize for the lighting, guys. I want to get some lamps going in here. Here is the Chronicle Collectibles uh, Terror Dog. Done a review of that. And let's see here. Let's see if we can get the proper lighting here. Here I have in the back is the Batman v Superman Superman. A couple of Jokers. There's the infamous Joker with his leather jacket. I've actually got some uh, shrink wrap wrapped in his arms right now, so try to prevent some of the staining. There's Tuxedo Joker. Uh, there is the Man of Steel Superman in the back. There is Zod. Uh, I try to keep it by universe. So like up here is the new DC universe uh, movie universe. I believe here I've got Adam West, Batman, and Robin, Evil Superman, and regular Christopher Reeve Superman. Down below here I'm crouching, so we've got 89 Batman, Returns Batman, Bruce Wayne, Mime Joker, and Joker. And then finally, down below here, there is Batman Begins Batman, Dark Knight Batman. Let me just bend down here for it. There we go. There's Dark Knight Rises Batman. There is the SDCC um, can't remember, Robber Joker. I don't know what you want to call it. And the new Joker. But I, accident, I actually switched the heads. I switched the heads from what that Joker used to have. I switched it with the Bank Robber Joker. So in a nutshell, guys, this is my collection. Uh, the only thing that I have to still put in is I want to put some of the Jason masks up here and of course get some better lamps I mean, right over here it just so happens that the way that the lighting is set up I literally have no uh, pot lighting or spot lighting here at all so this area kind of stays a little bit dark it's not as dark in person but it is a little bit dark catching everything on here on camera this area I want to put some posters and you've got your games and then you got your movies, and I just put that leopard print <laughs> blanket there, and some more movies. There is my collection, guys, for anybody that wants to know what does your collection look like. That was my collection right there. It needs work. I want to organize stuff a little bit better, but in a nutshell, that is my collection.